Welcome to the ADB South Africa DRAS training classroom. Over the next few weeks, we will be releasing videos on how to use your ADB ACS 880 VSD. Today's lesson is how to commission your new ACS 880 VSD using the basic startup assistant. Normally, when you start your VSD for the first time, the basic startup assistant will come up on its own. But this demo unit that I'm using has been commissioned a few times before. So to simulate the new VSD, I have cleared all parameters back to default and you will see this little green light flashing over here. It shows me I've got an active alarm. So if I go to options, scroll down to active warnings, select it, it'll tell me no motor data. And how to fix button or this little uh, question mark over here, if I press it, It'll tell me basically that my VSD has not been commissioned and I need to set some parameters. So let's go to the um, menu directory. We will see line number two is assistance. Go to that one and there's basic setup. And this, will, uh, this is what it will look like the very first time you start your VSD, your ACS 880 VSD after installation. It will ask you English, uh, Deutsch, Italiano. I strongly suggest that you use a language that you are comfortable with. In my case, English. Press the next button. It will tell you localization. Which uh, default units do you want to use? International SI units or the US standard? In my case, I will use SI standards and I press the next button. Then it will ask me units. Do I want to change the units? No. If I go in there, you can see power unit. Do you want it in kilowatts or in another measure? Uh, horsepower. No, I want to use kilowatts. I want to use degrees Celsius. And for torque, I want to use Newton meters. I'm happy with that. I save it. And tariffs, unfortunately, we've only got Euro, USD, local currency. So I'll just leave it in Euros for this uh, exercise. Then press next button. Next button, you can change your date and time. To change date, uh, I go into the side over here and scroll up and down to change the date. Date is correct, so I'm not going to change it. The same as the time is okay. And I can go to next. Now supply voltage. This is now becoming a little bit more technical. To change your supply voltage, you need to know what the supply voltage for your drive is supposed to be. If you know the type code of your drive and you know you've got a dash 3 drive, it means you need 380 volt supply and that is what you will see over here. Um, so I'm happy with the 380 volt supply there and I go to next.